right, hello everyone. Um, my name is also Camilla, so hey. <laughs> um, I'm a UMass student, I'm a senior, uh, graduating in May, I'm so excited. Um, I'm Brazilian and I have been here in the US since my first year of high school. Uh, that's a little bit of a background of how I started with language. So my first language is Portuguese. Uh, I've been speaking Portuguese ever since I was little. I kind of learned English hand in hand uh, because my father lived here in the US and so I would visit him sometimes. And I think around when I was six years old, I already spoke English. Uh, so I officially moved here my freshman year of high school. And um, <coughs> In high school, I took Spanish because most of my peers were Spanish speakers. And I said, why not? Let's learn this new language so I can communicate with them better. It wasn't really academic. It was mostly just for um, my own enjoyment. Uh, and then I decided to come to college at UMass Amherst. Uh, my major initially was just political science. And up until my junior year, that's all I was doing. And I was not happy, I'm gonna be honest. And what happened was that junior year, I met an excellent faculty at UMass. His name is Luis Amaral. And he was the one that convinced me that I should take on a Portuguese major. And I was very confused. I was like, that's my first language. Why should I major in that? Um, and I think he did a really, really good job at explaining to me why majoring in a language could be helpful. And basically what he said is that, hey, if you have it on your resume, if you have it you know, on your diploma that you are a Portuguese major, it doesn't only say that you're a native speaker, but it also says you're a college level native speaker. So uh, a lot of kids come here really young and they're native speakers, but nobody really knows at what level of their language they're at. Uh, so when I started this Portuguese major, I, um, I had a Spanish minor as well that I was taking along with that, um, paused on the Spanish minor, I finished it, and then I just was taking basically all Portuguese classes for like a year and a half, as I still am, kind of, still till now. In one of these Portuguese classes, I met another incredible faculty at UMass Amherst. Her name is Tal. Um, she was one of my professors in one of the Portuguese classes. And one day, she came to me and she said, well, just a little background on her. She is Brazilian, but she's from Israel, um, so she's... Brazilian Jewish, I believe. <laughs> and um, her kids came with her just recently to the US. She had just arrived um, that semester. And she came up to me with a concern. She said, the Amherst Regional Public Schools need interpreters. Like, ASAP, they're desperate, um, they need people there, and I think it would be great if you could go and give them a help. Uh, you speak both languages, you also speak Spanish, I don't know how it would work, but my kids are saying to me that they're working as interpreters and translators for their peers, and they have open spots for students and people in general to be interpreters at the high school and middle schools, etc. So I went, I applied online, I got the job, and I started working at the Amherst Pelham Regional High School. And that's my internship ever since last semester. I'm working there this semester as well. And I didn't really know if translation and interpreting was really for me. Um, and prior to this current internship that I'm in right now at the public schools, I had worked at the Somerville City Hall at the communications department. And the communications department has three major people who run it. And one of them speaks Haitian Creole, one of them speaks Portuguese, and one of them speaks Spanish. And basically what their main job is to help the community that doesn't speak English that do speak the languages that they speak. So I was working with a Portuguese um, representative at the City Hall. I did a lot of translating um, pamphlets and updating the website, meeting with people that just needed simple um, help with translating and interpreting in their daily basis, like if they had to deal with the consulate and they didn't have time, or if they had to make a call to the doctor, and any simple thing like that that they came in with a concern, we would always be able um, to help them with. And then 
After that, I took a class, a translation class at UMass, and it was a literary translation, which to me was a completely different experience because I had been translating things that I was used to, so I was translating words that to me were very familiar in my daily vocabulary, the words I was speaking to my family, to my friends. It wasn't anything really that I wasn't exposed to before. And when I took this um this class, it was not only just Portuguese English, it was Spanish, Portuguese, and English. So I was translating from all three languages, vice versa, um, Spanish to Portuguese, and the other way around, English to Spanish, Spanish to Portuguese, all over the place. So uh, that was a really different experience, and I think that's what really opened my mind and my eyes to, hey, maybe this is a possibility. Maybe this is something that I do want to pursue for my future. Maybe it is something that you know I could do something more with. And right after, that's when the um, internship at the high school occurred, and that to me was just kind of like, hey, we're giving you all, all these opportunities. Why aren't you considering this a little more? So I did. and. Um, I have been continuing to take uh, Portuguese classes, and now um, I think that I just know that the experience at the high school, aside from being rewarding, it was extremely helpful to me not to understand my own language, but also that there are different types of Portuguese. So there are countries in Africa, and there's Portugal who also speak the language, and Working with Cape Verdean students also helped me understand the differences in the language there. So um, in the future, I hope to go get my master's degree in Lisbon and um, delve a little deeper into the different types of Portuguese that are not just from Brazil. Thank you.